Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's good to have you guys back here to the channel. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make this trending bag. I got the inspiration from this other bag, but the clients wanted me to add a zipper to hers. So if this is something you'd like to see, please stay tuned to the channel and let's just go straight into the tutorial. So this is me trying to join two A4 papers together. If you are familiar with this channel, you will know that I love upcycling. I love using things around so that I could be able to use them to, you know, make my pattern drafting and, um, you know, get more profits from the money I'm going to get from the client instead of using the money to make buy a pattern paper so this is just me i've joined two a4 paper together i am just trying to cut out um, um nine inches i'm trying to cut out nine inches so i'll go ahead and cut out the nine inches then i'm just going to go ahead and fold it into two equally like this this is because it's an a4 paper so it is easy to you so anything you make on one side you just cut it and you end up getting it on the other side so what i'm going to go ahead and do is from the open edge at the top i'm going to go down by one inches then i'll go down by three inches and go out back from that three inches by 1.5 inches then i'm going to make my slants i just hope you understand what i am doing here so after i make my strand slant i'm going to make a tiny curve on the, on top then from the close end i'm going to go down by 3.5 inches now i'm going to use that as a guide to make my curve if you have a curve ruler you could use it to be much more easier but if you don't have a curve ruler just try as much as possible that your cuff is coming out well. So from that 3.5 inches, I'm going to go down by 5 inches um, or 5.5 inches, depending on how long you want the back to be. So I went out by 5 inches before, but I tried to just have the other half inches. <laughs> So I, I added the half inches, then I'm just going to go ahead and make the curve as well. So that it's, it's going to give us that double effect curve on the middle and curve on the on the top. So I'm just going to go ahead and um, cut out the cardboard paper. Then I'll just go ahead and uh, duplicate everything I cut on the leather welcome again to the channel if you are a returning subscriber you are highly welcome to the channel and you're a first time viewer please do well to click on the subscribe button and also the notification bell so that you get notified whenever we post a new tutorial so guys after cutting out this is what i have i cut out two pieces so now to get the side you are going to measure your side all round like this and add extra two inches on both sides so that is um four inches so i got around 23 so when you add four inches it's going to be 24 25 26 27 <laughs> that's in seven inches so for the middle i decided to use one inches less so this is me i've already cut out the bottom and it's a three inches wide and um a 27 inches long so my fabric was not enough so i had to join two to make one and this is the handle the handle is a two inches wide thing and um a 15 inches long so this black thing that you're seeing here is um the rope i'm going to be using for the piping i have a tutorial on the channel on how to pipe a bag with actually piping rope but in case you don't have a piping rope and you want to pipe your bags you could use the same leather and use this process so i'm just going to take you guys to the sewing machine and show you how to pipe pipe bags using leather like this so you fold it into two the open edge should be on the edge of the bag that you are stitching so the closed edge will be facing inside then you just go ahead and be stitching stitching all around the way you see me that i am stitching like this so and the measurement is actually a one inches i'm using a one inches you could use one inches you could use 1.5 inches depending on the effect that you are looking for So 
so i've already put the piping and the side of the bag to one part of the bag so you just go ahead and duplicate the same thing on the other side of the bag so after i did this i realized that oh shit this bag is supposed to have a zipper <laughs> So I decided to now start attaching the zipper. So you have to attach the zipper before you put the side to be on a safer path. But I did everything like this and this is what it um, looked like. So after you put your zipper, you go ahead and just join the side to the other side. And um, you see the way it's turned out. It looks beautiful. Now remember we added 2 inches on both ends. And the reason why we added 2 inches on both ends of the side is because we are going to be using the actual leather for as a d-wing handle we are not going to be adding another leather as a d-wing handle but we are just using the leather as a d-wing handle so i'm just going to go ahead and um and start uh, um reducing the width you know the leather was three inches and our d-wing the d-wing i have actually is a one inches d-wing so we start reducing the width of the leather to to match our one inches thing our one inches d-wing and make sure it is enough to lap lap the zipper because you are putting two zipper head so make sure it's enough to lap the zipper so that when you open your zip it will not fall up on one end i just hope you understand what i am talking about so this is just me trying to make all the necessary adjustments please take your time take your time while doing this don't allow the bag to shift and don't allow the bag to bend <laughs> Because this is the side of the bag and this is like the beauty, part of the beauty of the bag. So I would really advise you take your time here. If it requires gum, put gum. If it requires super glue, put super glue. So that when you are stitching, you are just stitching straight like this and you have a straight stitch. The client wanted um, the bag zipper to have a kind of design or so. So I cut a, a leather that is um, long enough to enter into the holes of the zipper of the zipper head. Then around three four inches. So I decided to just sew it on the zipper head. So after doing that, I realized that oh my gosh, this bag is supposed to have a flap again. Well. <laughs> To be honest with you guys, some days are like that. You you make a lot of mistakes. But the good news is that you can put a flap without actually losing the whole bag. So this is like a bonus tip for my friends out there who are just starting bag making. Maybe you've finished the bag then you realize that, oh my God, I am supposed to put something or I'm supposed to do something. So it's not all the time you have to necessarily you know lose the whole bag to actually add what you want to add so what i'm going to go ahead and do is to just cut out my leather and i'll start attaching my flap it's very, very simple it's simple very very simple so this leather right here is what i want to be using for the flap and it is a five inches long by three inches with leather so what i'm going to go ahead and do is because i don't want to stitch it i will just gum the two leather together the way you're seeing like this so this way you are going to have neat stitches so that when you stitch it will be only the stitch that you stitch on the flap and the bag to join it together that is going to be showing you don't have to necessarily sew it all around or sew it and turn it inside out to to have a very beautiful effect if you do your flaps like this it will be seamless yes that is the word you're going to have a seamless flap and that is a beautiful that is going to be a beautiful flap so after i gum it together as you can see before i've showed you an illustration on how i am going to sew my handle i like sewing my handle like a bias it's, it's it makes my work very very easy so that when i want to poke my holes inside the handle i won't have to be turning it inside out you don't know how hard it is to turn leather fabric inside out so please i would advise anytime you want to make a handle even if it is fabric handle ankara handle make sure you are sewing it <laughs> 
<laughs> like a buyer. So I just went ahead and make the markings and I just stitch, make a straight stitch. And that is like basically everything about the flap. I told you it was very, very easy. So this is me poking my holes. You know, now, please don't, don't get confused. The measurement for the leather determine the measurement of your hose if your hose is two inches make sure you are cutting 3.5 inches i just hope you understand my point to so me i cut out two inches because my hose is actually one inch so after i put in my holes uh, i went ahead and put my fastener to my bag and i put in this uh, artificial logo and that is like basically everything about this tutorial and this is the end product the client loved it and i was happy that i could serve her well so guys i hope you learned something from this tutorial i hope you will try it and um i hope you share my channel and i'll see you guys in my next tutorial bye